I want you to meet somebody. This is Biff. Yeah! Now the only thing Biff likes about school is taking other kids' lunch money. He's gonna drop out when he's 16 and spend the rest of his life moving from one low paying job to the next. And this one's name is Tilly. Like Biff, she's not gonna have a very good life. Except in her case, she's gonna have to hold down two jobs just to make ends meet. Right now though, Biff and Tilly, or a couple like them, rule your school. They're both bullies. Biff does it by beating kids up. Tilly and her posse do it by exclusion. But it's still the same thing. Bullying can cause a lot of suffering, especially if you're the target. So in this next section, we're going to show you how to make sure kids like Biff and Tilly don't ruin your school year. Bullies are kind of sad, really. See, deep down inside, they're convinced that they're just not good enough. Except instead of trying to be better, they think they'll feel better by hurting other kids. A lot of them don't even realize this is wrong, because all they care about is themselves. So what do you do? Well, the first thing is stay away from them. Don't go where they hang out. And if you run into one, just walk away. Because part of what they want is to see that you're scared or to make you cry. That's kind of hard if you're not there. And we talked about this one before. Don't be alone. Bullies don't like crowds. If you walk to school, walk with a friend. If you take the bus, sit near the bus driver. If you're on the playground, play where a teacher can see you. What a bully is trying to do to you can be dangerous. It can affect your health, it can affect your marks. And if he's stealing your lunch money or your clothes, that's a crime. So tell your teacher or your parents or an adult that you can trust. And remember, you're not just doing it for your own safety. You'll be helping other kids who may be going through the same thing. You might even be helping the bully.